AI wars and the new Cold War and why China is already winning. The iron curtain of AI is descending on the world and, and everybody's rising up to this call to arms. Just as the Cold War was fought over nuclear arms, the AI wars are fought over data, chips and energy. Unlike the USSR, which was isolated, China is not. They're exporting AI tech, EVs, and batteries to the world into Africa, Southeast Asia, and even Europe. We know this is their Sputnik moment. China's already ramping up their own chips. TSMI produces 90% of the chips required for AI, and they poached 100 developers to work on their own architecture, which may be a little bit dated. They're crossing the barrier and doing it themselves. China's also developing dumb chips, such as Grok, which is ditching GPUs for LPUs, language processing units, which are cheaper specialized chips that run AI and they're 10% faster and they use 40% less energy in data centers. We know China's ramping up. They've built over 300 gigawatts of renewable energy and they have state subsidies to help them grow and take over the AI marketplace. Is this open source a trick by China, a poison pill to give away their technology for free so they can flood the market with other competitors and innovators and startups, which will force Silicon Valley's hand to get into a pricing war they cannot win. Meta unleashed Lambda 3 on the world and today in China it's the most pirated open source AI model of them all. There's over 500 startups that are using it all over the world to create new technology. How is Meta going to make money off of this when they're building their own startups and moats around it? Is Europe's secret weapon GDPR2 where they're trying to restrict innovation and add on an extra 20 million euros in compliance fees? It's likely to keep China out. It's also going to prevent innovators from scaling and growing because of the harsh cost of doing business in the EU. Does China have the ethics in place to create an AI model that will be honest and to the point? We know if you ask them about Tiananmen Square or Taiwan, it will give you some questionable answers. I know secretly some of these tech CEOs in the West may be jealous in how good their AI is in terms of quality and speed and how they may be censoring information. Some of the un foreseen winners are pirate GTP economy. If you look at the dark web, there are hundreds of stripped down chat GPTs you can buy. Instead of paying $20 a month, you can pay $10 a month. Who is that going to? AIs are going to be your intimate friend. They're going to know just as much or if not more about you than your close loved ones. Do you trust to give your data to China or to someone or to somebody on the dark web? Tell me in the comments below if you think I'm right or where we're heading in this new AI arms race.